Hey there, if you're looking for new home construction in Queen Creek, Arizona, and you want to live someplace that's just close to everything that you need, well then, Malone Estates by Mattamy Homes is one development that you don't want to miss. And I'm going to share with you why, coming up right now. Hi and welcome back. Now if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is John Farron and I'm a realtor with Home Smart Lifestyles right here in Queen Creek, Arizona. And on this channel, we talk about all things real estate as it pertains to Queen Creek and the surrounding area. You know, we are continuing to have record low inventory levels. So every time a new development opens up, I get so excited because that means it's another opportunity for you to get the ball rolling on getting yourself into a brand new home. So I stopped in here at Malone Estates because they just had their grand opening back on May 1st and I was curious to see what they were all about. Well, I had the pleasure of meeting Darla and Lynn who are two of the four sales associates here and I gotta tell you, Darla was a huge help even though I showed up unannounced and without an appointment and we'll talk more about that here in a minute. So Malone Estates is a Mattamy Homes community and Mattamy Homes has been in business for about 40 years. In fact, they're a Canadian-based company and they're the largest home builder in Canada. They're also in the top 25 here in the United States. So with the 100,000 plus homes that they've built over the years, they actually rank as the largest privately owned home builder in all of North America. And if I heard the story right, the founder back in 1978 actually named the company after his two kids, Matt and Amy. You put it together, you got Matt and me. So Malone Estates sits on 39 acres of land and it's located on the northwest corner of Ocotillo and Meridian Roads. It actually is about three and a half miles from the Queen Creek Marketplace and the QC District, which are really the dining, shopping, and entertainment hub of Queen Creek. And it's eight miles from Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport and it's just seven miles from the Loop 202 Freeway. So there's two series of homes here, the Arbors and the Groves, and combined, there's eight different floor plans on 134 individual home sites for you to choose from. So starting off with the Arbors, there's five floor plans in this collection and they range in size from 1,680 up to 2,645 square feet. Now they have three single story models and two two story models and the homes range in price between 375,000 and $460,000. So with five floor plans to choose from, they only have two of them actually modeled here on site, and that's the Everly and the Willow Leaf. So we'll take a look at both of those first. With a base price of $404,000, the Everly is a single story, three bedroom, two bath home that's 1,990 square feet in size. It has a flex room right off the main entry that can be used as an office, and it comes with a two car garage. So come on, let's go take a look inside. Next is the Willow Leaf. This home is base priced at $464,000. It's a 2,645 square foot two-story home that comes with four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a flex room as well as an open loft and a three-car tandem garage. Now this is a flexible floor plan so you can add a guest suite downstairs in lieu of the tandem garage or you can have a fifth bedroom and another full bathroom upstairs. Come on, let me show you this one.
The three remaining floor plans in the Arbors collection are the Allendale, the Lantana, and the Zinnia. The Allendale is a single story home with a base price of $379,000. With 1,680 square feet of living space, it's a two bedroom, two bath home with a flex room and a two and a half car garage. The Lantana is also a single story home and it's 2,186 square feet in size. It has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a flex room, and a two-car garage. This home is base priced at $420,000. And then last is the Zinnia. This home is the other two-story home, and it's base priced at $419,000. It has 2,180 square feet of living space, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a flex room, an open loft upstairs, and a three-car tandem garage. You know, each one of these floor plans is flexible and they can be customized to meet your needs in terms of making flex rooms into offices or adding a bedroom in lieu of a tandem garage, you know, that sort of thing. Now before moving on to the Groves collection, there are a couple of things that you need to know about. Again, there are 134 lots here and most of them do have a lot premium attached to them. They are typically running anywhere between zero and $5,000 depending on the size and the location. Now in the Arbors, the average lot size is 6,215 square feet, and in the Groves, the average size is 8,450 square feet. Your HOA fees here are $93 a month. Now you should plan on a seven to 12 month build time, and I know that's a pretty broad range, but right now it's just really hard to give good estimates. Also, there's a $20,000 earnest deposit required at signing in the Arbors and in the Grove series that bumps up to $3,000. There's also $7,500 in closing cost assistance being offered by the builder and that's based upon you using their preferred lender. And so now currently only spec homes or quick move-in homes are being offered right now but that's likely to change a little bit further down the road. You know, and in fact, right now is probably a good time to emphasize that all of the pricing and other information given out in this video, well, it's current as of today, but it's subject to change at any time, and it most likely will. Now, to be considered for a home site, you need to come to the sales office and meet with a sales rep and take a tour of the models. By meeting in person, and virtual options are available as well, you're placed in the pending queue and you're able to purchase one of the available home sites. I should also point out that at the time of this recording, due to COVID-19 restrictions, appointments are required to visit and tour the models. Now remember back at the beginning I said I came without an appointment? Well, I was banking on getting forgiveness rather than permission, and it worked out, I got lucky but I wouldn't recommend you following my lead on that. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and contact me. All right, let's get back to the fun stuff and let's go check out the Grove series of homes. There are three floor plans to choose from in this series and all three of them are single story homes. They are the Calrosa, the Martina, and the Navarro. And these homes range in size between 2,410 square feet up to 2,894 square feet. Now two of the three floor plans will be available to tour on site, but the models just aren't quite finished yet, and they should be making their debut in late May. So now starting off with the Calrosa, this is a 2410 square foot home. It comes with three bedrooms and two bathrooms and a three car garage. It has a base price of $498,000. Next is the Martina, and it's base priced at $539,000, and this is a 2,745 square foot home, and it comes with four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a three car garage. And then last, we have the Navarro. With 2,894 square feet of living space, this home is base priced at $555,000. It comes with four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a three car garage. And again, each one of these floor plans is also customizable, so you can add guest suites or add bedrooms or add offices in lieu of uh, flex rooms and that sort of thing. So you're able to customize these homes as well to match your needs. Now, some of the amenities here include a neighborhood park that will have ramadas and shaded play structures. There'll be barbecue grills, picnic and game tables, and just open areas for enjoying time outside. 
Now, you know, I try my best to give you the flavor and feel of each of these communities. And when they're under construction like this, sometimes it's even more difficult. But really, the best way for you to experience this is to do so in person. Now, if you're working with a realtor or you plan on doing so, and I highly recommend you do, your agent must accompany you on your first visit to the models here. Otherwise, there's a really good chance they're not going to be allowed to assist you throughout the build process. So if that's the case, you won't have your own personal representation as you work with the sales rep throughout this entire process. And don't forget that sales rep is an employee of the builder. So let that sink in for just a minute. You know, every week I'm getting calls and emails from people just like you who see these videos and they want more information on everything that's going on here in Queen Creek. And it really has been a lot of fun for me to meet you talk to you and actually work with you in the process of purchasing your home. And so if you are considering buying a home or even selling one in the Queen Creek or anywhere in the Phoenix metropolitan area and you think that you and I would make a good fit, well then I invite you to call, text, email me, I don't know, send a singing telegram, however it is that you choose to communicate because when it comes to buying and selling homes in the Southeast Valley, I've got your back. Now I could probably go on about Malone Estates for another 20 or 30 minutes, but I got these other videos on the channel that I'd really like you to watch. I think you might find them interesting as well. So feel free to surf around the channel, click on whatever jumps out at you while you're there. Remember to hit the subscribe button, click on the bell so you'll be notified every time a new video gets uploaded. And while you're at it, you may as well follow me on social media right here. Now, while you're busy doing all of that, I'm going to be right here looking forward to seeing you in the next video.